What's up everyone? My name is Anish Kumar and in this video we'll be discussing about random variables or more precisely how to generate some random numbers in Flash. So in the previous two tu tutorials I discussed about paint application how to draw this in Flash uh, this whole code is on my website you can just grab it on it's given in the link below so uh, this also so let's create some random variables so let me create a variable var and give it any name I'm giving it a name color it's a number so colon and number semicolon and now for generating a random number we are gonna use a function or method called math dot random so it's an inbuilt actually uh, function or method so let's assign the value color to it and uh, find out what it does so let's trace the value of color let's press control enter and it's we can see the value is 0 0.8207 so it's 0 0.82 sorry about this okay so let's see another time it's 0 0.98 so let's press control enter once again so it's 0 0.89 again so let's press control enter again so it's 0 0.45 so the value of random variables shuffles as you can see from 0 to 1 it will never be 1, it will never be 0, it will be greater than 0 and less than 1. So, this is basically how to generate random numbers in Flash. So, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna multiply this by 50. So, why are we gonna do this 50? So that we get a number between 0 and 50 for getting a, a number 0 to 50 if it's 0 0.9 into 50 it will be maximum to 45 so we'll be getting a random number between 0 and 50 if we multiply the mat dot random number by 50 if you want to get a random number between 0 and 100 so we can multiply by 0 and 100 uh, by 100 so let's trace the value of color semicolon Press Control S, Control Enter. So it's 39.78, which is between 0 and 100. Let's press Control Enter. Uh, I'm actually getting. Okay, it's, it's good. It's 3.71, which is between 0 and 100. It's 87.7, which is between 0 and 100. So I guess it's working out. So what we want to do is want to get a value of the paint application so let me so right now the value of our paint or brush or you can say the vector graphics is green uh, so green is in hexadecimal value 0 x 0 0 f f 0 0 so this is r g b red green blue so let's multiply this mat dot random by maximum color which we can obtain is 0 x f f f f f f let's press control enter so get any random color between that range so let's pass an argument in our ellipse uh, instance you can say instance so let's pass an argument here we can pass an argument as you can see so the first argument can be number second can be also a number its width height and the third argument will be a color so let's 
supplied a color press control s and control enter um I'm sorry about this mm. you have to supply uh, the first two argument also so let's take the width as 20 height as 20 and color as color let's press control enter and test the movie you're not getting a random color let me see what's missing here oh yeah um, it's because we need to put this code here press control and run so it's giving the random color so what's happening right now is whenever we push our mouse button down this function is being called as a result of which this function is called or this event listener and we are changing each time we click the mouse button down so each time we click the mouse button down we are getting a changed random color in our flash file so now you're getting a random variable each time you're pressing down the mouse button so it's 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 beautiful you can get this code for free on my website uh, one more thing I, I, I just did uh, you can you can try many things I just added this after this line of code and now this is a beautiful so what's happening right now is whenever you're moving the mouse random color is appearing so whatever so whenever you're moving a mouse an instance is made and each time an instance is made a uh, random color is generated so this is happening right now you can mess with this codes you know so what's happening in this code is we are passing uh, three arguments this is called arguments so first argument is this 20 which matches with our this action script code so this argument is replaced so if no argument is passed here suppose no argument is passed here so what's happening we're getting green color why it's because it's taking uh, the argument which were only which were provided before so width is automatically 10 height is automatically 10 and the number is automatically green or you can change it to blue uh, let's me change it to blue so let's press control enter so how to change this argument is uh, we can provide three arguments as you will uh, begin as you will um, type parenthesis it will say argument three argument the first is width number let's say 20 oh second is also height as you can see it, it has become bold 20 and a third argument is a number also let's type color so let's press save and control enter and then we will get random colors Thanks for watching the video. Keep on subscribing uh, and check out my old videos on paint application if you don't know anything about this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.